Hey yo, Captain JJB84 here. Uh, Iron Man 3, what can I say? I think it's great. Um, I It's not the best. I think um, I still think the first Iron Man is the absolute best. Um, Iron Man 2 is just okay, but this one's good. Um, very good at times. What it is, it's sent, it sets place right after the Avengers. It's so sort of a phase 2 of the Avengers. Um... <clears throat> And what it is, uh, Tony Stark has had n quite a bit to do in his spare time. Because he's no longer the head of Stark Enterprises. He's um, kind of just been building suit upon suit. And he's kind of suffering from a bit of a post-traumatic stress disorder. From post-traumatic stress disorder from like what he did in the Avengers. So it gets a bit... Uh, he has these, like, constant anxiety attacks, um, and just, uh, he pretty much, um, he's kind of, he's just worried, like, he doesn't want to lose, um, Pepper, kind of the love of his life, and, uh, what it is, Pepper is, um, <coughs> Pepper is the head of Stark Enterprises, because Tony thought, oh, I'll just make you head of Stark Enterprises, um, uh, so yeah, he's built... 42 suits now, and, <laughs> and I'm asking, I'm saying, you're sitting there going, why, because he has nothing better to do with his time, uh, whatever him and Jarvis are up to, <coughs> excuse me, I'm dying slowly, um, anyways, a new threat is on the horizon, a terrorist by the name of the Mandarin, who's commit, who's, uh, done these several, like, sort of bombings all across U.S. And, um, it's not really sure why they're happening or how they're happening, just they're a problem and a threat and they have to deal with them. <clears throat> um, any, but where it gets interesting, then we're introduced to, uh, Guff. The film actually sets place, um, it starts in 1999, where we meet, we see, uh, Tony Stark and this, um, scientist girlfriend of his, um, and we meet Guy Pierce's character, and I'm just gonna get his name here for you. Hold on one second. Guy Pierce says Aldrich Killian, and what it is, what is this scientist, uh, doc, Dr. Maya Hansen, she's She's sort of, um, they're kind of reworking sort of the genetic material of the human brain. Uh, what they're, <clears throat> what they're doing is, um, they sort of, they want to create this sort of, they figured out the brain is sort of missing parts of it, that, um, in the sense that, <laughs> as, uh, Killian puts it, it's sort of due for an upgrade. So, and he sort of creates this sort of chemical, or not really a chemical, like a type of drug that will pretty much allow you, like, regeneration, massive intelligence, stuff like that, I think. Well, maybe not the massive intelligence, but the regeneration. Um, and... Anyways, it's later learned that Killian is sort of linked to the Mandarin. And the Mandarin... Ben Kingsley plays a mean Mandarin. Um, I didn't think I would like Iron Man 3 that much, because... Um, when I first heard it, I thought, uh, it seems like there's about 50 million odd villain villains in there. There's only like three, maybe two. Well, two and a half, I guess. Actually, maybe just, now I really think about it, it's just one, really. Um, uh, I, I don't want to give too many spoilers because there are some just absolutely great bits in this. Um, <clears throat> um, but I think it's good. Where it could have gotten better, I think... Maybe if it was just a little more focused, I think, and, um, at times, uh, sometimes the humor doesn't always work, and, uh, oh yeah, and just for the price of admission, you get to see, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow become rescue, and Gwyneth Paltrow is hot, <laughs> and she, she kicks ass in this movie, you see her become rescue, and Tony's built this new, <clears throat> sort of, uh, like, uh, schematic, or, I don't know what it is, but he can just sort of fling his arm, and the, uh, the pieces of the Iron Man armor will just go to whatever he sort of points at, it'll go to him, 
He puts it on uh, pepper, everything. Um, but it's a neat, it's a neat little, you know, end to a trilogy. Or is it the end? Um, I heard somewhere that, well, the way it ends, it's interesting. I know I'm just rambling all over the place because I don't really want to spoil too much, and I think I might see it again. Um, but I think it's great. I mean, I don't think it was. Um, it's certainly no. It's not the first Iron Man, but. They're cer they certainly, um, they did a lot, they did a lot good with this one. <clears throat> um, Don Cheadle's good as, <laughs> this funny subplot is, he becomes the Iron Patriot, but apparently it was called War Machine, but then War Machine didn't sound, sound a bit, uh, it sounded a bit too violent. <laughs> um, and he likes the old name, but Iron Patriot's, Iron Patriot sounds better. <laughs> it's like, what's your password, man? Iron pa uh, War Machine rocks. X's, all capitals. <laughs> Loser. Um, but Don Cheadle's good. I like Don Cheadle. Um, oh, John Favreau is just hilarious in this. Um, he's no longer Stark's bodyguard. He's the head of security, and it's just like, everyone must have a name tag. Oh, tag, man. Where's your tag? No, no. Where's your tag? No, no, no. There's your tag. No, no, no. There's your tag. Um, <clears throat> but he's great. Guy Pierce is great, Ben Kingsley's great, uh, what's her name, Rebecca Hall, I think, who plays that. I heard somewhere, uh, oops, great, my computer froze. Um, <clears throat> yeah, great. Continue. Pooh, my computer froze. Uh, yeah, apparently Jessica Chastain was supposed to, supposed to play Maya Henson, but then um, she kind of dropped out of it. I don't know. Then again, Jessica Chastain was supposed to be in a few films this summer that she dropped out of, but, but oh well, what do I know? Um, but I think it's good. Uh, it's certainly not perfect, but I think it's a good end to a trilogy, and oh, let's see what, see what Joss Whedon has in plan for The Avengers Part 2. But... but I give it, I, uh, I'm feeling generous, I'll give it an 8 out of 10, I think it was good. Um, ben Kingsley is the mouthpiece, Guy Pierce is the brain, and I'm the muscle, says James Badge Daily. Okay, now my computer froze, which is not good. But, that's all I have to say, I give it 8 out of 10, I think it's great, I would go see it, I might see it again, I don't know, but I liked it nonetheless, so, uh, see ya.